Beto would say. Beto O'Rourke. Apparently, everybody and their brother loves this Beto character. I don't understand Beto. I think he's kind of an idiot. He couldn't beat Ted Cruz, and that was pretty much an easy, an easy <laughs> route for him. But that's fine. Doesn't matter. We're not talking about that in this segment. Uh, welcome back to the world famous Cheeky Chigwai Radio Broadcast. We are coast to coast, border to border on TuneIn, iTunes, Radio Loyalty, of course, CheekyChigwai.com. Monday through Friday, we are live two Central, three Eastern, twelve Pacific. 1 p.m. Mountain Standard, and of course, 24-7 at CheekyCheckWire.com on the TuneIn apps and Radio Loyalty. And of course, our brand new Droid app and iPhone app are available in both the app stores, or you can get them at J-I-G-G-Y-G-H-E-U-A-R.com. Selected editions on iHeartRadio and of course, AM, FM, 247.com. 50 plus AM, FM stations across the printed plain. And of course, you can find us online at J-I-G-G-Y-G-H-E-U-A-R.com. Now, I got a belt made. <laughs> We've got to talk about the belt and the history of belts with Jiggy Jag. <laughs> We're going to do that in this segment here on our big program. I'm going to show you the belts. Um, I have been a professional wrestling guy forever. Uh, I love belts. I'm a big belt mark. And when I was doing Box a Buddy in Hutchinson, Kansas, it was 2004? 2003? I don't know. Something. Go look it up. I think it's 2003. 2002. I don't know. When I was doing Box a Buddy, they had. Um, no one had, uh, nobody had thought far enough ahead to do a championship, do a box of buddy champion. So Cardio Mike, who had box of buddy decided, Hey, I'm going to create a championship. Uh, we're going to have a belt. We're going to do a belt. Um, so we had two guys that he knew fight for the box of buddy title. And one of these guys won. And a eh, pretty decent guy. I don't even remember who the hell the guy was. But he won. And then he had the belt. Well, then he left. He never defended the title. <laughs> this guy won the belt ran. Because there were guys like Keith Zawickle coming up. Which, by the way, for anybody in the world that knows Keith Zawickle, Keith Zawickle was Brock Lesnar. Before there was a Brock Lesnar. I always say that. Keith Zwickel was a localized Brock Lesnar, I guess you would say. In fact, let me see if I can find a picture of Keith Zwickel. I need to find a picture of Keith Zwickel and Brock Lesnar. <laughs> I've never done this. I always talk about Keith Zwickel on this show. I think he's like a realtor now. Or something. Uh, he doesn't look like he did back in the day. But uh, let me see if I can find this picture of him. Let me see if I can pull this up. Uh, Keith is a wickle. That guy right there. Doesn't that guy look like a kind of a Brock Lesnar? Doesn't he? I always, th when I seen Brock Lesnar, I had always thought that, I had always thought that Brock Lesnar was ripping off Keith Zwickle. So, he was a scary dude back in the day. It probably still is. He's probably still insane. Maybe it was just the roids that were making him insane. I don't know. I don't know if he was taking juice or not. But, uh... So, this box buddy guy, he takes off. He's got this belt. He leaves. Nobody sees this guy. So then I came along, and I went, you know, I like belts. I'm fighting in these box of buddies on a regular basis. I'll take on anybody. I'm going to go out and create me a belt. So I did. <laughs> 
I created a belt. I got a hold of title boxing. Look at that. You see that on the... If you're watching us on video. If not, I even got my name put on it. It's got the boxing gloves. It's got boxing guys up there. It's got my name, Cheeky Jaguar. It's fantastic. It's 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 about like five pounds, maybe, maybe ten pounds. That center plate. This thing's like this thing's like ten pounds. So I went out and I got a belt made. And then there was this guy that came along by the name of Nathan Dunnigan. Who, me and Rob, uh, my buddy the Emperor, the Rob Sabi, nicknamed Dum Dum Dunnigan. And <laughs> Dunnigan wanted to always fight me for the belt. He was going to fight me for the belt and make the belt mean something. So, <laughs> we went out and... Uh, tried to get this fight set up on several occasions, and either Nathan couldn't do it or I couldn't do it or whatever. Never got the fight done. So then, uh, I've always joked, you know, if I ever come back and do these fights stuff, I'm going to get me a belt made. So then, um, we did this fight in Newton, and I realized that they're going to do more of these. They're going to do, they're going to do these I'm going to help get these guys going. We're going to do these damn things in every city in the United States if I can figure it out. So we decided uh, I, I ended up having this fight with uh, this Ryan. I still don't know his freaking last name. Jen or Gen, the Psych Tyson guy. And originally he was going to get in there and he was going to put up money. And I was going to put up money and the winner was going to take both. Well, then... The guy who was going to hold the money, nobody could get him tickets, and he wasn't going to pay to come in. I wouldn't wanted to pay to get in either because it was his idea. So he didn't come, and then we kind of got sideways on the money. The money never took place. Well, I wanted to buy a belt. I always said that if I won this match, he's going to buy me a belt. Well, we were in the main event, so essentially we were we were fighting for uh, we were in a belt main event. I always have. UFC always says the main event is a belt. Uh, WWE is always the main event is the belt. So I went out. I got me another belt made. <laughs> Look at this beauty. If you're seeing us on video right here. Because the group is called You Be the Judge. Because it's You Be the Judge Smoker Fights. And then I got... Ernest Bell's logo, Thunder Bell, who I train with, my coach, got his logo on there because he trained me. And I got my logo on there. It's not as heavy as the other belt, but it's a pretty damn big belt. It's green. And, of course, as everybody knows, I can't stand that green color, but my carpet, my carpet in this Swiss Army apartment, Swiss Army apartment upgrade, excuse me, with all apologies to the mangler, I got a belt made. Now, we got the belt shipped here. We did a live unboxing, and the guys that I bought the belt from shared it on their Facebook page, which is fantastic. And so then, I decided, well, I, you know, I'll just name myself the champion. <laughs> I just named myself the champion. So, well, inevitably... People have decided that they want to come for my belt. <laughs> well, you could you could come for my belt. That's fine. This belt has no lineage. It's a made-up title. The title doesn't even exist. There's no champion. I just went out and spent $200 plus $20 shipping and handling or whatever the hell it was. I think I spent maybe $225 because I had to customize it. And that cost me 30 bucks. So 230 maybe. I don't know. So we had J.C. Thomas, the ghost hunter guy. He's always wanted to fight me. He's always wanted to fight me. Um, he, might be, he might be the dum dum dunnigan of this generation, of this, this fighting generation. No, I wouldn't say he's dum dum dunnigan. I like JC. I like Nathan too. But uh, 
No, I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't. Take that back. He's. Uh, you know. So then, uh, Derek, uh, my buddy, who uh, is the uh, the Wolverine or whatever. Um, that guy is the. Uh, well, he has decided that he wants the belt now, too. He wants the belt. So, <laughs> we now have two guys who want the belt. This is pretty damn amazing. So now Derek wants to fight me for the belt. So I've decided here's what we're going to do with Derek. Derek has been training down in McPherson as of late with Sandra Bird, who is Richie Bird's mom. And anybody who knows anything about my history knows I have kind of a rivalry or had a rivalry going with Sam Price, Sandra Price Bird, and uh, Richie and all them. Now, I don't have a rivalry go with Adrian, which is Richie's little brother, which is hilarious, by the way. I've always been his friend. It's amazing. He was on this show several times. He's fantastic. So, <laughs> we are going to... Um, we're going to try to do a smoker fight in McPherson at Vibe Bar and Grill, the old NAS bar, on the patio in May. And it's going to be me versus uh, the Tetanotonic Wolverine, as he calls himself. Or maybe he's going to call himself the Gladiator. He was going through a gimmick, he was going through a gimmick change when I talked to him last. He gets it. He'll cut promos on me. I'll have Merrick McMichaels cut promos on him. It will be hilarious. So, this is coming, kids. This is definitely coming. Um, so, who knows, but apparently people want to fight me now for my belt. So, uh, and of course, the green belt looks like the old WBC title. Uh, if you know what that is from boxing. It's a it's a knockoff WBC belt. So that wraps it up here for this edition of our world famous Chiggy Jaguar Radio broadcast. We will inevitably see you next Sunday. I gotta have music. There we go.